Good evening, everybody. Today, uh, I downloaded some new video editing software called uh, DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, and so I'm gonna, this is gonna be the first video of experimenting with DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, I'm gonna try a few new things. I wanna try and up up the production a little bit of my videos because I'm, with some of the videos I keep I'm doing, I'm, uh, with all the videos actually, I'm doing one shot takes and uh, I want to be able to better, I want to make better content and then uh, also just ha have them have, be a little up the production is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Snoobies videos and that guy's production is great in my opinion. Uh, one of these days I am going to throw the, start using audio from this microphone. Uh, I have an audio interface and I record music and stuff but uh, right now we're just going to I'm dealing with just my phone for now, the audio of my phone. Eventually, we, I'm going to up the production, though. Uh, i got to do some learning first about uh, about DaVinci. So, today is going to be one of the, the first video of me uh, doing some, some new things uh, using DaVinci. So, we've got to review today. We've got Sturco Snuff. Sturco Snuff, made by McChrystal's. Uh, this is a little three gram tin, uh, I think. Oh, I'm close to spilling it here. It's about a three, three and a half, four gram tin. I'm not really too sure, but uh, yeah, like here, I'm gonna put a close up picture of of the Sturco. Take a picture taken off my camera. But yeah, it's a nice little tiny tin. Little small one. It said, "We all know this." It says on the back, "This this tobacco product damages your health and is addictive." Whatever. So let's try some of this out on Mr. Snuff on Mr. Snuff's website. It says a strong, dry, cooling menthol snuff for the discerning palate. Uh, some I've read that some people really think that this snuff is very similar to uh, Jip. I haven't had Jip yet, so I don't know. Some people say this is stronger than Jip. Some people say Jip is stronger than the Sturco. Uh, I don't know. I have been digging into this can. In fact, I have another can that I haven't even opened yet. I went ahead and got an extra one just to have, in case I ended up liking it, which... Spoiler alert, I do like it. It's a pretty good snuff. And so let's go ahead and talk about the smell. Let's talk about the smell before I go diving into it. The smell is just a nice menthol. Uh, yeah, that's all I really get out of it is just a menthol tobacco. A good, cool menthol. It's not very hardcore out of the tin. Uh, the smell. Yeah, it's not very hardcore straight out of the tin. Uh, there, you can smell the menthol and, and some some good, uh, you know, nice tobacco. It's got a light brown color. Pretty good. Pretty decent moisture. About as about as about the same moisture as uh, you know o and, most ONGs are supposed to be. Yeah, let's dig into some. I do know one thing about this one, that whenever you smell it out of the tin, it's deceiving. Because when you put it up your nose, this stuff's pretty intense. So let's have a little, have a good one here. It's pretty, it's a, it's a blast of menthol. Let's do another one. Let's go ahead and do another one for good luck. Yeah, when this stuff hits that right spot up there, it's a it's a hard it's a hardcore snuff. Like that just did. Oh. It hit that spot. Make my eyes start water. Whew. It's a great it's a really it really is a great snuff though. It's just a a nice kind of black and white uh menthol with some good uh, high quality tobacco behind it. Uh, 
I, I mean, this one to me is kind of like a classic one that I think everybody needs to try at some point. Uh, I've been digging into this can a little bit here and there. I haven't taken a whole lot out of it. You know, as you can see, this is a pre pre relatively new can, but uh, it's a it's a great snuff. I mean, it, it's a McChrystal's for sure. I mean, I mean, I know this wasn't originally made by McChrystal's, but then McChrystal's, I believe, bought out the bought out this company or the rights to this particular snuff uh but uh yeah i really like it now let, let's see how it pinches i always i never like pinching out of these tiny little tins but uh for some i'm always scared i'm gonna spill it or something but let's let's get one here it pinches just like ong any any other mccrystals very refreshing snuff I would say that the menthol on this is pretty high but no higher than the Mullins and Wesley keen scented uh, it's no higher than the the the, the Wilson's of Charo extra M uh, yeah I mean it's it's people some people are to me it's not it's if it hits that right spot, I mean, it'll get you, but the hedges will get you better, you know, as, if, as far as whenever you whenever you do a, a hoot of it. That menthol blast is what I'm trying to say, that that whenever it hits that that spot right in your nose, the right spot, it'll bring a tear, as, as Simon, as Simply Snuff would say, it'll bring a tear to a glass eye. This isn't as hardcore as any of those other ones, in my opinion. So if the jip is anything like this one, you know, that I'm not that, there's nothing to fear really. I think the sharpest snuff, the one that bites you the hardest that I have is probably Radford's. Yeah, it's, it's probably, the one that bites me the hardest is probably the Radford's and, and maybe the, the Jackson's 1896, 1890, 1869. They bite you, you know what I mean? It's like a, it's like a bite of a smell. So yeah, it bites you pretty good. So uh, this one, this one doesn't, in my opinion. If it hits that right spot, it will. But it's not, it's not that bad. Uh, it just opens you right up. It's a great snuff. It reminds me a lot of ONG. I think ONG has a little more like eucalyptus in it. I don't even know if this has any eucalyptus in it. Just a good menthol. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great snuff. I wish it, I wish I could find it in bigger tins because I mean I'd like this snuff. I, I could see myself doing this snuff every day. It's re, it's really good. I think I like the ONG better, which I'm real. I've been waiting on my package. I'm still waiting on a package, and I got a big tin of ONG, and even the o, ONG CBD. And I'm so ready to have some ONG again because that one when I that was the first snuff I ever tried was the Crystal's ONG, and I flew through that can, ten gram can. I went through it in like two weeks, which which for some that may be quick, for some that may not be quick at all. But uh, yeah, I wish Sturco would come in the big the big tins. So let's let's do another one. It pinches really well. If I didn't already say that, let's do another little scoop. Opens your nose right up. I like it. There really, there's only one Owen, uh, there's only one McChrystal's snuff that I don't like so far, and uh, I will make a video about it. I don't want to spoil the surprise here now, but I do have a, a McChrystal's that I do not like. But uh, yeah, the Sturco is really good. Sicilian Burst is really good. Uh, the the Old English was really good. The ONG was really good. <laughs> Yeah, McChrystal's make, I haven't made a review for this one yet, but the McChrystal's SP is really good. Yeah, they just, they just, they make great snuffs, you know. I, I, I know I still got a lot to try, but anyway, we got Sturco snuff. So uh, go buy yourself a tin. This, this tin was cheap. It was like a dollar something. So, I mean, you can get it on, on Toke or Mr. Snuff, I think. I'm, I know on Toke you can get it. It's like a dollar fifty, so... Throw it in your cart, get one just to try it out. You're out, you're only out a dollar. If you're an American, you're only out a dollar, you know, or whatever. So, 
yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. The, uh, bear with me with the, uh, the new editing and stuff. I'm gonna, uh, the way I've been editing has just been, I haven't been doing any editing, to be honest with you. All I've been doing is recording a video, cutting the ends off of it, because usually I'll hit record, sit down, and get situated, and then I'll just start speaking and cut that section out, and same with the end. And then I just add the little pixely Texas Texas tobacco reviews, and then that's all that I do. Uh, I want to add just a, I, I just want to make, I, honestly, I just want to learn video editing a little bit better, just just to know a little bit more. And I, I went online, was looking for different editing software, and uh, I thought about getting Adobe Premiere, but it's like 30 bucks a month. Or if you do a yearly, a year, a year of monthly subscriptions, it's twenty something bucks a month, and that's expensive to me. That's 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 too much for for what I'm doing. I'm not making any damn movies. I'm reviewing snuff and 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 snooze and, and dip or whatever. I don't, I don't need nothing crazy. Uh, that and I only got 59, 59 subscribers, so not too many people are watching. But it's not about how many people are watching. It's it's about getting smokeless tobacco content out there for people uh yeah so bear with me with this new uh davinci resolve uh editing software but i'm gonna up the production up a little bit as we go the audio i know my audio from this phone sucks because i figured it out while i was in davinci resolve i'm constantly clipping it's constantly peaking the audio which i know you guys aren't getting good audio out of that so pretty soon once I get everything squared away, I'm going to start reviewing from this microphone. Uh, it's a great microphone. I spent, a, I think, 150 bucks on this microphone. Uh, and I, I know the audio quality will be really good with this. The only problem with the audio from this is my AC unit's right there, and it picks it up really badly, which lets you know you got a good, good microphone. This is an Audio Technica uh, AT2020. Affordable, great great microphone i use it for record i record music and and uh, i'm thinking about putting some of my music as like the intro for this video the video the, i make electronic music and sometimes i make metal stuff like that so yeah anyway i'm ranting that's all i got guys i hope you enjoyed the review uh like and subscribe go check out snooby go check out today's snuff as well uh me and today's snuff have been talking pretty regularly he's just an awesome dude he's an awesome guy uh, and uh, I, I think uh, he and I will have a, a lasting friendship. So uh, go check out his review. He's, he's a YouTuber just like me. We don't have hardly any subscribers, but we're doing it because we love snuff. We love tobacco, you know. But uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. God bless you all, uh, and cheers.